Bring the carrot juice to a low boil until you see a separation. A light color separation will float to the surface. Pour the juice into the centrifuge bottle. If you do not have a centrifuge, strain the juice in a fine sieve lined with a cheesecloth. To make the carotene butter, bring the carrot juice to a simmer and add unsalted butter. Blend the butter into the juice until it is fully incorporated. Pour the mixture into a centrifuge bottle. Centrifuge the carrot juice at 10,000 RPM for one hour. If you are not using a centrifuge, chill the mixture overnight, remove the solidified fat from the surface, melt it, and strain through a fine sieve lined with cheesecloth. Strain the bottles of centrifuge carotene butter, keeping the solidified butter and saving the juice for another use. Melt the butter down and pour into the silicone molds or container, refrigerate until set. The butter will keep two to six months frozen. Make sure to core the carrots for the soup as the cores have a bitter aftertaste and your soup will taste sweeter without them. Use young carrots for best results. Melt the unsalted butter in a pressure cooker completely before adding the carrots. This will prevent them from burning. Stir to coat the carrots evenly with the melted butter before adding salt and baking soda. Baking soda is important as it increases the caramelization of the carrots. Pressure cook at one bar or 15 PSI for 20 minutes. Combine the carrots and centrifuge carrot juice together in a blender, food processor or a Vitamix. Then add the carotene butter and blend until smooth. Taste and adjust the seasoning. To plate the soup, I would like to add a dollop of coconut chutney foam, minced ginger, ajwain seeds, and fresh tarragon leaves.